hi guys so today i'm doing a video that i am showing you guys how i got this look for because i'm getting ready it's like a get ready with me because i'm going to a singing concert for myself because i sing multi-talented it's fine so yeah i hope you guys like this video and let's get into the video okay so i put my eyebrows on is the first thing that i'm going to do because separate video on my eyebrows even though there is a video on my on my channel on how i do my eyebrows but my eyebrows have changed a lot so i'm just I usually use dip brow and I do so I'm getting ready to go to my scene concert so I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Fair Neutral put that on my eye back on YouTube so it took pretty much two years off um, and that's because I was doing year 12 and I did first year uni which first year uni was interesting it was fun it's been an interesting year I'm just trying to start off 2018 well, because I haven't had the best 2017. Um, what's she gonna do about it? Um, I'm trying to decide. I don't know what I'm gonna do with my eyes. I might look on Pinterest. I don't know what palette I'm gonna use because I could use Huda. The palette's not that bad. Um, or Modern Renaissance. Yes, I keep my eyelashes on my Modern Renaissance. I think I might use Modern Renaissance. It's the color Burnt Orange because I always like to smoke that out above. So yeah, it's been a while since I've filmed or done youtube i had to i took a, a break for a bit got in the way and i've been wanting to do this for ages again and i'm on break at the moment so i was like you know what this is the best time to start and the best time to start again and i'm very excited because i've watched so much youtube um still it's ridiculous and i've just wanted to get back into it because i feel like i do have a lot of good makeup advice um, so also my channel now is going to be a lot different to how it used to be because I'm not going to be as filtered because I've decided, you know what, I am not going to put on a facade or anything. I'm going to be myself and my real weird, annoying self because when I did YouTube last time, I didn't do that as much because, and I think that's the reason why I was like not doing as well because my real self, I'm kind of funny sometimes. I have a personality, but like I didn't really show it in my videos. I was also my eyes constantly fucking swell and it's so annoying i'm over it i'm just over it i'm over it officially like it's fine i just went in all with burnt orange and the zoeva um 227 lux um soft definer i also have got my shit together when it comes to makeup i really need to do a makeup collection video this ho um loves to collect makeup it is such an issue they're gonna do something with Burgundies and a gold because I have a gold glitter that I haven't used because there are a few glitters Damn it. I don't have a pink glitter, but I have red glitter Could use gold. I might use gold Here. Okay, I'm gonna use so um my channel. I don't know what I'm gonna do really yet. I don't know if I'm gonna be a Do I'm gonna do beauty videos because I do love makeup. My obsession with makeup is an issue and a problem that is huge in my life but yeah, I also have a lot of stories, especially over the past year. Oh god, oh god. I don't know, my eyes are turning out different. So this eye always swells because I constantly have allergies, which is fun. So much fun. I love being allergic to life. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a video soon on eczema. This is half the reason why I haven't filmed in ages. Um, so I have really bad eczema, and I'll do a video all about it and how I manage it because you know what? That's a problem. That is a problem. I love what my friends are texting me while I'm trying to film, like it's fine. <laughs> so I'm like really don't know how to do with the camera right now because I'm like, I have not been in front of a camera in so long that I'm kind of stressing. But yeah, I have heaps of videos that I could do purely because I buy that much makeup. Um, oh my uh, yes. And it's really hurting. Also my channel is probably gonna be low key really ADHD because um, I have ADHD, if, um, people don't know, or ADD now referred. Um, so I'm a bit all over the shop. Like I remember when I used to edit my old videos, I used to be like, oh my God, why can't I keep on one topic? So it's why I never did get ready with me. Get me? Because I have literally the attention span of a squirrel. And why is that doing that? Can you see? It's like not blending properly. <laughs> really don't appreciate that. Can you blend, please? I would really like that. Blend, please. Also, I got my nails done. If, um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see or what I, when I get my nails done, what my nails look like because I constantly get my nails done. Okay, my eyes are not looking good, but like glitter will save everything. 
This is not the best representation of my makeup because I am better than this. Bring this palette in my eye because like to hell. My whole thing with makeup sometimes, if all else fails, just add big lashes. Like actually done. And then I'm just going to cut my crease, which I'm going to use this Tarte brush that I got in a set. It's like a double-ended neutral from Tarte. Because I need to go get the MAC one. Nikki Tutorials uses. I'm going to zoom in on my eyes so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, got, if you haven't, can't, I love it when it doesn't focus. So pretty much how I do my cut creases is I look in a mirror that's like, I have my head back like this and I look in a mirror and I just carve. Pretty much what my cut crease looks like. And then I'm just going to. Okay. So. This is pretty much the gist of what my eyes are going to look like. And I'm going to pick glitter. I love glitter. I was so scared of glitter for a few months. And it was for the stupidest fucking reason. It was like, because I was like, it's going to make my eyes look worse. And I was like, honey, it's fine. I'm going to use this gold glitter. Underneath, I think I might find a gold color that's like similar to this in my makeup collection. Or, use this. These? Oh my god. Oh my god. So if any of you guys haven't noticed, these are the Stila um, Magnificent Metals. These are so good. I really like them. But I prefer using them with... I'll show you guys in a tutorial soon because I'm obsessed with them. Hmm. Okay, I've got a debate. Do I want gold glitter? No, I'm going to do gold glitter because it stands out a bit more. Hello? I'm going to use this colour here and I'm going to put that on my lid. Morphe brush and I'm just going to fix spray it with Fix Plus. And go into the that color that I can't say. And put, ooh, that pretty. Look at that. Look at that. It's, oh yeah, that's so pretty. Buying from Mac for a bit, but I run, that's the only thing. I only have two products that I buy from Mac because I'm not really the biggest fan of Mac. Because the ladies that work at Mac are so rude. Like, oh my god, I want to do a video so bad on like talking about customer service and makeup counters. Because I get so annoyed with some of them. I shop a lot for makeup. Like, I'm a really big shopper. And the girls at Mecca that I live near, they, like, low-key let me do what I need to do. <laughs> and Sephora, which Sephora has been the worst thing that's ever happened to me. But, like, in a good way. <laughs> okay. These are not turning out as bad as I thought. I've seen a blend in that in a... Okay, so I'm going to grab this gold glitter. This is from Mecca Max. And it's called Cash, Cash Up. It is. So I use a face painting brush hack if you don't want to ruin your brushes with gl with glitter. Um, so I'm just gonna grab that and put that over really my lid. Oh my god, it's so weird filming again. I missed it. Like I miss talking to people while I make do my makeup because I love makeup a lot. Um, plus to like wet the brush to make it more sticky. Yes. So yeah, I'm hoping some of my old subscribers that used to actually watch me are still here. Um, I'm hoping you guys are happy I'm back, even though I don't think anyone noticed probably that I was gone because I was, I only, I didn't have that many subscribers, but to be honest, I loved it. I didn't give a shit that I didn't have a lot of people view my videos. You know what? It's fun. It's something to do. Doing makeup tutorials and makeup videos could be my outlet to do it. Like, bitch, you sparkling. Eyeliner. So the eyeliner I use is from Kat Von D because I have the best liquid liner. And I'm just gonna put that on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do the rest of my face. I'll speed that through as I'm gonna do a video uh, talking about the Huda Beauty, um, my first impression of it and stuff. So I'll be back. So I put on the NARS Gradient Creamy in Chantilly. As it's sort of, I like this concealer a lot. I used to hate it. Another concealer, which is this one it's this one's straight up white i'm gonna use it to brighten a little so i'm gonna put like two dots because i bought this one in l1 neutral because i keep on forgetting i'm not as light as i think i am like i think keep on thinking i'm like literally the shade of um white but i've gotten a little bit darker in summer because i've been sitting out in the sun just brightening up the center of my face so when i contour everything looks so uniform and pretty because so far, I just have creams all over my face. And my battery is fucking dying. Green. I'm going to contour my face with 
the Shade and Light by Kat Von D. And I'm wearing a really pronounced cheekbones. I just like to... And now I'm just going to grab my Beauty Blender and tap around and blend everything together. So I'm just going to get rid of all the creases under my eyeballs and then I'm just going to grab this and um, don't rub if you pat, it makes it look so much better. Also, this because it has a yellow undertone, it also brightens under your eyes as well as if you're a pale girl like moi, this is one of my secrets. If you watch my Instagram, if you guys have gone to my Instagram at Alice Cutler plug, shameless plug. Um, this is how I get my really, really, how I don't have pores in a lot of my photos. Um, and like, ain't gonna lie. So as you can see, this is no filter over my face or anything. This is what this does. This is the reason why I recommend this because um, I've been doing makeup for long enough that I know how to make myself look airbrushed in real life. <laughs> I just use that under my eyes and I set it as well as my T-zone. A big fluffy brush and this one's from Morphe. Okay, so anyone who is looking for a new powder, get this one. I use the Hula Light, which if you don't have this, you should go get it because it's freaking good. Because you're pale, you can wear whatever you want. You can be literally a cake face, like any girl that has t a tan and still look cute as hell. Because, you know what? Being pale doesn't make you ugly. Embracing your paleness. I embrace the fact I'm pale. I know I'm the color of sheets, um, my paint on my walls, but I embrace it because I was made this way. So why wouldn't I make myself look cute? <laughs> Just saying. I'm gonna use Nars Orgasm because I think this is pretty. And now the main event. So I'm going to put on some highlight. But, but today I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. Okay, this is one of my favorite things. So I'm gonna use the, uh, what's it called, Zoeva 105. I love this brush for highlighting. And the, Rihanna knew what she was doing, like when it came to these products. Okay, a pair of Iconics by House of Lashes. I'm just gonna use that with their glue because this is the only glue I swear by. I'll do a whole video on lashes, don't worry. Um, Cause I do wear lashes, lashes a lot. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these on while I charge my camera. I know. I put my eyelashes on instead of using um, Iconics, I decided to use the Boudoirs from House of Lashes. I'll show you what they look like. They look like this in the packet. These are really pretty. They're one of my favorite lashes to wear. So yeah, so I've got that on. Put some of the Extreme. This is the mascara I use when I wear false lashes. So I use that. And now I'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line using a one of these tough brushes. So I'm gonna grab the burnt orange color. And grab that. It's about smoking. But I remember not to do that because I remember I used to do it on my old videos and it used to like so I've got that and I'm just gonna use a little bit of red ochre on the right right where the lash line is. Then I'm gonna get Cypress Umla there. And then that's my lower lash line. And then I'm gonna grab some mascara. I'm just gonna use this mascara, which is the I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. I'm gonna grab the Prim, whatever the hell, the Prim, the gold color from this palette to get it actually in my eye in a corner. And then I'm gonna grab the Mia, which is the color above it. and put that right in my inner and debate on putting more glitter. So yeah, okay. So now lip color. Okay, so I'm getting the mini of this because the full size is somewhere else, but I'm gonna wear the color Mannequin. I liked my video and you guys liked how I, my new, whatever the hell, my new, how I've done my channel. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe and join the fam, cause it'll be fun. I'll post videos at least once a week or twice a week. Um, depending, I'm just gonna try and get back in the swing. Um, so yeah, so see you guys in my next video. Bye. Woo.